don't have to go far. Hey, Alan, how are you? To get an earful about Dr. Sheldon Burns. If he needed my right arm, I'd give it to him. That's why I think of this guy. I'm 94 years old and as active as any 50-year-old, and thanks to him. And he has a larger-than-life reputation. He really does. He really does. Very good family doctor. You can go in there and talk to him, and visits might be long because you do a lot of talking, actually. Or when you do a physical, and he goes, you know, I have large hands. <laughs> and your eyes go, up for the game in a coat and tie, Dr. Burns heads to the medical room at the Target Center to maintain his position. From an integrity standpoint, from a trust standpoint, and from a knowledge standpoint, um, you know, Sheldon is easily one of the very, very best in the business. Not only does this 64-year-old family physician keep up a busy practice in Edina, but he's also certified in emergency and sports medicine and serves as the medical director for the Minnesota Lynx, the Minnesota Wild, and the Timberwolves. Our athletes expect the top of the line, uh, best service, best uh, care possible, and he meets those expectations. In the training room, Dr. Burns jokingly tells players the cameras are here for the reality show Keeping Up. This is going to be on the Kardashians. Really? <laughs> but as most people know, Keeping Up with Sheldon Burns would be more like it. Sheldon treats everybody from our owner and his family uh, to our players and their families to members of our front office staff. I think he really enjoys being a family physician. Every encounter for him is interesting, there's something new, uh, there's something that adds to his life and it just keeps fueling that go, go, go body of his. A body that recently took a hit on the sidelines at the Dome, the first ever for Dr. Burns in his 30 years as the Minnesota Vikings team physician. Crazy thing is, it was the fully padded Detroit Lions running back who was injured. So it's just a, basically an extension of the family practice. Dr. Burns helped design this top-notch medical facility at the Excel Energy Center. We have a full resuscitation abilities, we have defibrillators, we have IVs monitoring, we have an x-ray unit. Almost anything you can think of we could do. We, we try and make them healthy, keep them healthy, and this is where they can come in and work out. And I get kind of lightheaded just looking at the stuff. Wild owner Craig Leopold says there's no second-guessing medical decisions made by Dr. Burns. He's, he's the captain of the ship, so to speak. When, when, when he says a player can go, he can go. When he says he can't, he can't. I think there's very few people in family medicine who are medical directors at this level and keep family medicine at the forefront. He's a mentor to a lot of us. Uh, the way he approaches patients, the way he approaches patients and their families, because he adds that extra dimension, that, that giving, that caring, that empathy. We think he's bionic. And whether he's in the locker room visiting with <laughs> wild goalie Nicholas Backstrom. Yeah, proud of him because his daughter did so well this week with her shots. Or examining a patient in his Edina office. We gotta look into that because I don't want you guys to drive yourself nuts. Dr. Burns treats everyone the same. The minute he walks in, you have his attention, and he talks talks to you, asks you questions about your whole life, not just, you know, your medical problems. And he takes the time, he, even though he's got a full schedule, he always takes the time. In fact, he put me ahead of somebody, a big name one time. He said, I'm going to see Dee Dee first, and I thought, wow. He knows his stuff. I, I have all the confidence in the world in, in Dr. Burns. Dr. Burns often makes house calls and will even provide patients with his mobile number. I don't think it's that special. I mean, patients give me their cell phone numbers. You don't ever feel like he's got to get to the next thing. It's like you're number one when you're with him. Members of the Navy family are all proud patients. He uh, greets me in a nice way. He asks you like questions about how your day was. He's always like, hey, how's it going? It's, it's just like you're talking to a friend. And Mom says the kids love watching a game on TV and catching a glimpse of Doc Burns in action. It's just pretty wild to think, that is our family doctor. When we have strep throat, we go and see that guy. Just as important to him is his own family. Dr. Burns has two grown children, Allison and Evan. His partner, Sharon, has three. Together, the couple have six grandchildren. 
And does he ever love kids? No, they love to come in and get their little little matchbox car. It's just magical. So. <laughs> He's always got a toy for the young ones. Yeah, I've had like six, six or seven of my patients I've delivered or have had in the practice are doctors. It's why until a couple of years ago, OB was the foundation of his practice. It forms a relationship that you just can never replace, you know, and to watch those kids grow up, I mean, it's a, that is amazing to me. Dr. Burns was born and raised in the small southern Minnesota town of Grand Meadow. His grandfather, his aunt, and his younger brother were all family physicians. It leaves you wide open. You can follow your passion. You can do things you enjoy within the specialty, and it has a great breadth. A member of the MAFP since his medical school days at the U of M, Dr. Burns held a number of leadership roles. He received the Merit Award in 1985 in part for his work on an infant seat loan program. We, we got a national award for that. Uh, and we had it in a lot of the hospitals in the state used, utilized us. And what's really cool is that Dr. Burns chaired the committee that created the award he's now getting. This is him presenting the very first Family Physician of the Year Award to a Detroit Lakes doctor back in 1981. We were excited to just award it to people that, you know, were doing what, what we hope they do best, which is take care of patients. He's a go-to person that you can go to for whatever problem you may have, and he will always try to solve it. Medical books sit on the shelf in Dr. Burns' office, but it's the memorabilia on the walls that catches one's eye. I've been privileged. Dr. Burns has been a part of 11 Olympic Games. I mean, I've been all over the world with uh, international teams and enjoyed uh, uh, camaraderie with my fellow physicians all over the globe. And, and been a member of four gold medal teams, including the Miracle on Ice 1980 men's hockey team, where he got his start as the assistant equipment manager. I've delivered children for those guys, and I still take care of four of them today. He has met five different presidents. The White House is, is just totally humbling, I think. And he's cared for his share of celebs and performers. When we're hosting an artist, and there's a medical problem, I call Sheldon. He's my rock doc. Garth Brooks and Britney Spears are just a few of the big names he's worked with over the years. Half the time he doesn't even know who the artists are. You know, can you come down and, and see somebody from Corn and just say, well, what's that? You know, we have 10, 12, 20,000 people that are coming down. We can't reschedule, it's part of a tour. Um, the show must go on, and Sheldon is the guy that makes that happen for me. It's a new day and age in medicine today, but Sheldon brings us back to the old times, and as far as I'm concerned, that's a good time because uh, when you need somebody, you want them there, and Sheldon's always there. No one's really sure how he does it. He's just a very dedicated and passionate doctor and person. Dr. Burns staffs at least 125 games in the span of eight months, and that's not including the high school tournaments where he often volunteers. Sleep is overrated, you know, I, I don't sleep much. Um, <laughs> he really is able to juggle all of the different aspects of his career. Dr. Burns always gives the same advice to rookies on the pro teams he works with. Minnesotans just want you to work hard. They appreciate if you get out there and bust your butt. Words he seems to live Holy by. Holy Shelley. I know my patients so well now. It's such a tremendous thing. It's been a great practice, that's for sure. Not that he has plans to slow down. I feel like I'm just getting going. No, we're pretty sure folks will be trying to keep up with Sheldon Burns for years to come. I just love, uh, just love what I'm doing, and I, I uh, am so blessed.